All right, here's the situation. Perhaps you committed adultery. Perhaps you are guilty of aborting a human life. Or perhaps you have destroyed the temple of your body that God has given you. And drugs and alcohol have consumed you. Or perhaps you're guilty of theft. And for all of us, we are guilty of sin. So we're being placed on trial. Here's a circumstance. The judge looks out at the defense table and the prosecuting table. The prosecution makes a very, very strong case for all practical purposes. You're guilty, guilty as the sins that you have committed. On the other side, he looks at the defense table. You have no defense. You don't even have a representative to defend you. So right before he slams the gavel, right before he's about to pronounce you guilty as charged, he takes off his robe, walks down from the judge's stand, sits right beside you and says, on that side, I'm the judge. Right here, I'll be your defense. Then he rolls his sleeves up and says, your honor, father, dad, I've already paid this penalty for them. They have been justified. Then he says, this time I have saved you. The next time I will not be able to save you. So he walks back on the bench and says, not guilty. Only through Jesus Christ are we justified from our sins. Thank God for Jesus.